Hi guys, my name is Nicola from Equestria Fitness. I am a strength and conditioning coach, Echo Pilates and Sports Yoga instructor. I train equestrians off horse in order to improve their performance on horse, okay? Today we are gonna go through some stretching. What I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna go through a little bit of a sort of yoga flow style at the beginning, because um, I think that's a really nice way to just mobilize the whole body at the same time whilst then moving between some, I guess, more rider specific stretches, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a little bit of space in front of you. And you're just gonna start feet hip width apart, tuck your chin into your chest and just roll yourself down. Okay, just roll down, hang at the bottom, take a deep breath in and a breath out and roll yourself up, okay? We're gonna do the same thing again. This time I want you to really tap in to the spine and see if you can, as you roll down, just imagine the vertebrae rolling one by one, like a row of cogs, so a string of pearls, and then hang at the bottom, deep breath in, and deep breath out, and then stack them back on top of each other, one by one, as you go. And then just roll your shoulders at the top, this time we're going to roll down and you're going to walk the hands out and we're going to come to what is downward dog. So you're going to have hands on the floor, spread wide and think about them pushing the floor away. You press your heels into the floor, don't worry if they don't reach and then think about sending your seat bones to the ceiling. Okay, we're just going to stay here for a second so you're really pushing the floor away, seat bones to the ceiling, push those heels away and you'll feel that's quite a big stretch in various bits of your body. So just try and relax into it, take some deep breaths. Okay, and then from there, we're gonna go right foot to right hand, left knee comes down, you're gonna bring yourself up, okay? You're gonna think about stacking rib cage over pelvis, tuck your tailbone under, and you're going to slide forward in the hips, so you'll feel the stretch down the front of that left leg, okay? So we're keeping chest open, keeping a neutral spine, okay? Now stretching down the front of that leg into the psoas and a big thigh muscle rectus femoris, okay? And then from here, you're going to take the left arm up and over. Keep the chest open. Keep yourself tailbone tucked under and look up, sort of just under the left arm up towards the ceiling. Okay, and you'll feel that goes a little bit deeper into the hip. And then between the rib cage and the pelvis, we're trying to make an extra inch of space. And then take a deep breath. And then hands back down. We're going to go back to downward dog and then change sides. So, foot back, seat bones to the ceiling. And then the left foot, left hand, right knee down. So again, stacking rib cage over pelvis, tailbone under, slide forward at the hips. Stretch it there for a second, really feeling that stretch down the front of the thigh. And then we're gonna go right arm and over, looking up sort of towards the ceiling under that right arm. And breathing in, now create an extra inch of space between the rib cage and the pelvis. and then hands back down. We're gonna to come to all fours. We're gonna go into pigeon. You're gonna bring left knee to left hand, bring the left foot across towards the right, and then slide that right leg away, okay? You can either stay upright here, you can go over the front of that left leg, you can bring yourself forward and just relax forward. But you'll be firm that stretch on the outside of that left leg, maybe into the glutes, somewhere in the lower back. Wherever you feel it, it's totally fine. And wherever you want to sit, whether that's upright, over the left leg, or folded forward, it's totally fine. And you're just gonna sit here and you're just gonna breathe and relax into it. And then you're going to sit yourself up. You're going to bring the back leg round, so that right leg is going to come round 
and it's going to go up and over the left leg. So it's come over the left knee like you just tied yourself in a knot. You're going to take your left hand over the right knee, right hand behind, look over your right shoulder. So you're just drawing that right leg towards you like you're giving yourself a little hug. Okay, now in an ideal world, both seat bones would be on the floor here. Mine are not, okay? Uh, but I think I've progressed from being able to put a copy of War and Peace under there to now something a bit thinner, like a Sunday supplement, okay? So don't worry if they're not. Um, there's, there's hope, there's hope. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, and you'll now be filling this a little bit further in to that hip and across the outer thigh more. And then the rotation just gently starts to rotate the spine as well. And that's really good for the spine is gentle rotation, helping to bring fluid back to it to keep it healthy and those discs plumped up. Okay, and then you're gonna uncoil yourself. I'm going to do that the other side. So starting with pigeon, you're going to go right knee, right hand, bring the foot to the left, bend the left leg back, and you're either up and forward, over the front leg, or you can bring yourself forward, head, forehead towards the floor, and just relax there. And again, you're just trying to breathe and relax, really think, Go out, drop it into this stretch so your hips are dropping down at the back as much as you can, drawing that leg away. Relaxing the lower back and letting it really fold forward and let everything just drop. And then you're going to bring that back leg round, left leg up and over the right. You're going to take hold of that left leg with the right arm. You're going to look over the left shoulder. And again, check into where your seat bones are, see if there's an asymmetry, you might spot a pattern there. I definitely do. Again, just increasing the stretch on the outside of that left thigh there and gentle rotation of the spine. And then from here, we're going to go into an inner thigh stretch. Now, the reason we're doing an inner thigh stretch is not because I think that riders need to lengthen their inner thighs. For most riders that I've tested, we've got way enough flexibility of our inner thigh. But what they do do is they carry a lot of tension. Okay, so that's all we're trying to do is just take off that tension a little bit. Okay, so what are you going to do? You might want a little bit of padding under the knee that's on the floor. You're going to send your right leg away as far as it will go comfortably you put your hands forward to take the weight okay so you want the foot flat on the floor you're just going to rock forward and back gently and then you're just going to hold where you feel the stretch most okay and like i say we're not looking to increase the length of it just trying to take off that tension okay they spend, we spend a lot of time with inner thighs on as riders so we're just trying to let it relax out. That's all we're trying to do. Take off the tension. Okay. And then we're going to change side. So again, foot out as far as it'll go comfortably. Foot flat. Hands out in front. You're going to rock forward and back. Just start to ease it out. And then where you feel that stretch most, just hold there and just let it relax. Okay. And then to finish, we're going to go into a really nice stretch for the back, the hips, etc. And also just a really nice calming pose is child pose. I do this with a frog leg. So feet together, knees out. You can do it with knees together, it's entirely up to you. I just really like this one in terms of just keeping the hips open as well. So from here, you're just gonna walk the hands forward, forehead towards the floor. I'll turn around now so you can see this from the side. So walking the hands forward, you're taking your bum towards your heels and you're just gently stretching out the back with those hands being drawn forward and the heels being drawn Heels being drawn back to the bum. And then you're going to take 
both hands towards the left, keeping that right seat bone weighted towards the heel. So you're stretching out the right side. So just drawing the right arm round towards the left and the right seat bone drawn towards that heel. And then you're gonna change side, hands towards the right, dropping that left seat bone down towards the heel, stretching out the left side. And then just take a couple of breaths and just relax there. Okay guys, now you might want to hold the stretches for a little bit longer than we have in this video, but I just wanted to get you through them uh, without you having to watch a really long video of me just stretching quietly. Um, but also just doing them gently and um, sort of quickly is also really beneficial because if you've just done that along with me, I'm sure you'll notice that you already feel a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more limber. So I um, hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and I'd love to know how you got on. Bye.